Welcome to the CA Ops MVS Event Management and Automation 13.5 New Feature Video Series featuring IBM BCPII integration. In this video, this is the agenda we will follow. The new Ops MVS BCPI server allows Ops MVS automation and Rex programs to query, change, and perform operational procedures against System Z hardware. Requests execute in the Ops MVS BCPII server address space and invoke BCPII through a set of application programmer interfaces. Functionality is implemented in the address HWS Ops Rex host environment. Prerequisites are Ops MVS 13.5 and PTF SO 10262. To set up the server, some Ops MVS parameters will need updated, and the sample procedure distributed with Ops MVS may need customization. The following Ops MVS parameters must be set to implement the Ops MVS BCPI server. The init HWS parameter determines whether the product activates the optional hardware services interface. This must be set to yes. The HWS type parameter determines whether to start the new Ops BCPI server or high serve. This parameter must be set to Ops BCP to enable the new BCPI server. The API activate parameter enables or disables the interface that applications outside of CA Ops MVS can use to provide information to CA Ops MVS rules or read information from CA Ops MVS. This parameter must be set to yes since both HiServe and the new Ops MVS BCPI server are separate address spaces outside of Ops MVS. The HWS rules parameter determines whether the HiServe product activates the optional hardware event notification and associated rule interfaces. When HWS rules is set to yes, hardware services provide hardware event notifications in the form of API events. These events can be automated through API rules. HWS rules has no impact on the new BCPII server. The BCPII SDC parameter specifies the server proc name of the new Ops MVS BCPII server. BCPII server options control server functionality. Some examples are trace, which determines if tracing is active, Set trace determines the level of tracing written to the trace file. Tracing is off by default. Bypass auto connect determines if the server connects to discovered LPARs at server initialization. Specifying yes defers connection until the LPAR is targeted by a query, set, or command. Bypass Auto Refresh determines if the server should attempt to automatically refresh hardware event registration and refresh the topology when BCPII recovers from a permanent communications error. Bypass Enable Events determines if hardware events are enabled. Specifying Off enables hardware events to be sent to Ops for API rule processing. HWI codename determines the company name that appears as the enterprise entity name on the topology display. This parameter is required. HWI DC name determines the data center name that appears as the installation entity name on the topology display. This parameter is also required. Additional information about server options can be found in the Ops MVS documentation. Server options may be set by using the OPII command startup member. This member is read at Ops BCPI server initialization. A sample OPII command startup member is distributed with Ops MVS. After the Ops BCPI server initializes, options may be set by issuing modify commands as follows. 
A sample server procedure is distributed with Ops MVS and may require customization. This example shows how to use a Rex program and address HWS to send an activate command to Alpar ZZ01. This example shows how to use a Rex program and address HWS to query and display the operstat attribute on Alpar ZZ01. This example shows how to use a Rex program and address HWS to set the processor weight on LPAR ZZ01. This slide is a sampling of hardware events sent from the Ops BCP server to Ops MVS. API rules can be written to take action on hardware events. As previously discussed, the Bypass Enable Events option must be set to Off to enable hardware events. This slide shows a sample rule written to process hardware security events. An API stem variable is generated to pass information to the rules by the Ops BCP server event exit. To summarize, this video showed you how to set up the BCPII server to process address HWS commands, how to use Rex programs to query and set BCPII attributes and issue BCPII commands and to enable hardware events.